it is clear um, to me that the identified way forward is not based on science. It's not based on any thought to enhancing the enforcement or most importantly, perhaps to supporting the licensed users of this gear. I, I get why, I get the why, especially given the advertisements that we're seeing on television and social media of late. But that why does not begin to justify the reality that this decision will have far reaching implications for both fisheries and tourism and therefore to our national economy. And the longer decision makers keep categorizing these issues as strictly environmental issues, the greater the consequences will be for all of us. Um, I also admit that I have a, a personal fear, um, and I think it's shared by, by others, that this decision has sent a, a very mixed message, one that threatens the foundation of law and order as far as fisheries goes, because by failing to prioritize the licensed users of this gear who are willing to transition, those are the people we have been working with, consulting with, um, the commercial fishers who aren't using this gear, 97% of them, the catch and release fishers who are being negatively impacted by this gear, I worry that this decision could be interpreted as breaking the law is not only okay, uh, guess what, it will elevate you to a position of priority um, by the powers that be. And, and I really think that out of an abundance of caution, we should brace ourselves for an increase um, possibly in illegal fishing activity, given that it has been proven um, on multiple occasions that the majority of the users of gill nets are in fact doing so illegally, and that that is done um, by primarily a foreign fishing, fishing uh, fleet.